What up, fellow nerds? This is Lamaunade casting another game in Lamau StarCraft. I uh, hope you guys are having a good day. I will be casting this game on Daybreak uh, from San, NSH San, a Korean player spawning at the top right here as the Red Protoss. I'll be ca casting a few Korean games here um, just because they're known to be uh, insane StarCraft players uh, and uh, that's just kind of the folder I grabbed off the site, so we're going to do it. Um, kind of excited about it. Um, one of the more known players uh, down in the bottom left corner spawning the blue Terran will be Marine King. Um, another Korean player. Um, he has a bunch of different names. Marine King Prime, Boxer, oh gosh, Fake Boxer. I, I need to look a little bit more into that. But uh, one of the most, I would say most famous uh, StarCraft players would be Marine King Prime spawning here at the bottom left as the Blue Terran. So, hope everyone's having a good day here. Uh, this is my day off. I'm going to try to knock out as many games as I can before I go on my date tonight. That's right, nerd with a date. Heads up. Uh, pretty excited about that as well. So, uh, wish me luck. Appreciate it. And we'll get this game started. Um between these two Korean players. I'm uh, pretty excited. I love TVP. My best favorite matchup involves anything with Zerg, but um, TVP's not a bad matchup at all, considering uh, Protoss is my best race. Uh, just not the most fun to play with for me. Um, so we'll see what happens here. It looks like Marine King's going for an early reactor in, uh, with the barracks here. No, neither player has scouted yet, which is kind of surprising to me. And both players electing to go for the early gas. Let's pull up the production tab here. Um, oh, wow, what is this game from? I want to say this is an IPL game. Um, not that that really matters for these purposes. I'm just kind of casting for the game itself, not so much for the tournament. Um, so I'm not quite sure what is on the line for these players other than bragging rights. The more people that see this will say, oh man, San is awesome, he won that game. Or, oh man, Marine King is my new favorite player. Uh, for all you watchers out there. If you guys want to follow me on Twitter, uh, my name on Twitter is Starcraft, just like my YouTube name. And I also have a Facebook page I just started uh, started up. Um, so feel free to check me out on any of these social mediums here. Um, so Cybernetics getting that warp gate research up as soon as possible. And this probe is going to get denied by this really quick Marine um, coming out here. And the reactor is going down for Marine King as well. So we're going to see quite a few Marines early on in the game here. And a factory going down. He could be going for some 1-1-1 one, one, one Marine play. Um, but then again, Terran is my worst race. So if someone in the comments is going to be like, oh, you're an idiot. He would never do that. But um, And I'm getting that early stalker out from San as well to deny any kind of early aggression that these Marines could uh, you know, micro these Zealots away and do some pretty big damage without the Zealot upgrade there. Um, what was I going to say? I don't know who watched uh, Day 9 last night, but he just, uh, and it was probably the funniest <laughs> funniest tweet of all time when he said, sorry for the Peter out at the end there. <laughs> I left pretty hard, uh, but my my thoughts uh, go out with, if I were a religious man, my prayers would go, go out to Day 9. If something's going on with this family, I hope that uh, everything ends up all right with him. Um, so... Best of luck to you, Day9. Hope everything is all right. Uh, we do have two... Oh, it looks like he went for uh, a switch here. Uh, put the reactor on the factory. He's going for some early Hellion play. He's going to waltz right by the Stalker. The Stalker's going to run home as fast as it can because there is not much to stop these Hellions from coming in here and roasting a few probes up. One more Stalker here. He might get another... He's going to get another Stalker up before these get in. Where is he warping in that Stalker? Oh, he's got three warp gates up. And the roast begins. Let's see if he, how many probes he can get here. Hold the workers killed. Oh, three workers killed. Oh my gosh, he's not even microwing these probes away. These Hellions are going to do quite a bit of damage here. Five workers killed. Five workers killed for that attack. Not a bad attack. A lot of workers are damaged here as well. But at the same time, we've got four Stalkers coming in here doing some damage. I apologize, guys. And we're going to warp it even three more Zealots as these workers are all trying to get in the mix here. A couple Marauders trying to micro away these Zealots to take them out, but uh, losing a lot of workers here at the same time. He has evened up the workers' kill tab and the unit's kill tab. And he's going to defend this, but not without taking out quite a few SCVs. He's got to get these guys back working. Oh my gosh. Uh, double aggression here. They're happening at the same time. Apologies for not seeing that earlier, but... Uh, it looks like they both went for an aggression here. Marine King sending in some uh, Hellions, taking out a couple pros, but at the same time, a couple Stalkers with a pylon warping in some Zealots here to even up the score. Another probe goes down, 
and uh, Marine King will take the edge on workers killed. So just these guys just trying to rebuild their armies, get their economies back on track, especially this Terran player who lost a lot of his uh, a lot of mining time just trying to defend that attack. Um, but awesome job by Marine King to stay that attack while doing some damage to some probes here. So I'd say this is about even. I'll give the Protoss player a little bit of an edge if not for this army waltzing towards his base right now. Uh, I do think that with a cool couple good force fields he's going to be able to defend this. But at the same time, that was pretty pretty cool exchange there at the beginning of the game. Um, I do want to see Sand start to expand here. But it seems like he's just going to be content with... Holding on to what he's got, he's going to retreat that Stalker. He could definitely take out these four Hellions. Those Hellions know it. They're going to run back home. And we do have a pylon going down, spotted by Marine King. And he's going to rejoin with uh, those Hellions and maybe do a little push here. Uh, but if he can keep uh, Sans' army split, they could do quite a bit of damage here. So let's see uh, what, what happens. Uh, there's an expansion going down from Marine King. That's what I wanted to see. I love those long macro games. So And a second reactor going down as well. Awesome. So, looks like, no, he was going to go for the rocks, but uh, he's going to be going in from both sides here. Definitely has enough Hellions to clean up both of these Zealots as they were too close together. And those Hellions are going to focus fire those sentries down. Will they be able to give them all a couple good force fields, keeping those uh, those uh, infantry back? But these Hellions are going to come up here, maybe do some more damage to the line. No, there's only one Hellion left. I don't think he's going to be able to pick off much. And Marine King's going to retreat the last of his forces. Is he going? He does get a probe. He might get a second probe. Two probes for that Hellion. Definitely earned his keep. So awesome job by Marine King to get as many probes as he could. And uh, as two more workers killed than his opponents, that's not bad at all. Getting that second base up as well. And he might be able to do some damage here to these Stalkers. I would think the Stalkers are going to have be enough to clean up. He focuses down these Marauders. Really close match here. Oh, get that Sentry out of here. A Sentry falls as well. Expensive unit to lose. But these Stalkers are going to clean up a couple of these Marauders. And it looks like they're going to be going for the counter. A uh, couple tanks back at home. Just started to research Siege. He might be able to get in there and do some damage before Siege finishes. Um... But I don't think he's going straight for the aggression here unless he builds a pylon close to his base. I don't see m nothing happening there. Twilight Council going down. I really want to see a second base come up here for San as he's going to start to fall behind in the economy. Two orbital commands just shooting down some mules. Um, if we take a look at the number of units here. There we go. 30 workers versus 28. So the only advantage... Um, that Marine King has is in that second base and these mules. And we take a look at the income tab. We have more minerals for Marine King and about even gas. So about two guys, two gas geysers for each, and two bases gives Marine King the edge with those mules. But there's that second base coming down. Sand a little bit behind there. Um, looks like he's going for no upgrades from his Twilight Council, but getting the Dark Shrine. So these Dark Templars are going to start to come out here. Uh, pretty excited about that. But these two orbitals, unless he keeps, you know. Sending these mules out, these orbitals are going to be able to scan anything, and he's already prepared with a missile turret here, so those Dark Templar aren't going to be able to do much to his actual base. I think this is a, this is an, a strategy that's not going to work out for him. I would much rather do uh, Dark Templar versus a Protoss player, to be honest. Uh, Terran could just scan it any time. There's 50 energy and 31 energy, so he's going to be able to get a couple scans off. And that pylon's going to, or that probe's going to come up here just to see what he can find, and he finds a mouthful of artillery fire from these siege tanks so kind of a wasted uh, probe there but he does have a pylon up here near his base so he could be warping in some sneaky units uh, as he attacks and he's do doing the, the infamous probe transfer over to that second base and double gas guys are going down as well getting that gas for those dark, dark templar uh, back to the production tab here combat shields more marines on the way Dark Shrine just finishing up here will he be warping in warping in some warping in that's the second day in a row I've done that Ah, stop watching Next Generation. Um, I gotta become so nerdy. Um, upgrades as well. Let's take a look at the upgrades here. None down. Not even a forge down. There is the first forge down coming down from San. And uh, plus one upgrades for our... Oh, here we go here. He's definitely sees this Dark Templar. He's going to try to take out that missile turret as soon as he can. Well, he will be able to get it down unless a couple Marines come in here. And he does get it. But it dies at the exact same time. And a giant force moving across the map five siege takes a handful of marines up to this protoss player he's gonna bring that dark templar in there see if he can sneak a few kills uh he's gonna scan and take out that dark Templar pretty quickly if he uh but at the same time 
doesn't really have much. Sand does not have much here. Just brings the probes off the line. Can't really bring in anything. Has five dark, five stalkers and a dark templar. The dark templar is doing quite a bit of damage. He takes and there's the scan that dark templar is going to go down. And Marine King Prime is just too much stuff. And there's the GG. That's it. And uh, Marine King Prime just outmasses opponent. I wish Sand would have expanded earlier. Um, as if you take a look at the income tab here, just the income is just double that of his opponent, and he was just able to create too much stuff. Not a big fan of teching into the Dark Templar either. I wish he would have gotten more gateways up, but just to get a couple more units on the map, as Dark Templar is just kind of rolling the dice, hoping that you can get a couple kills before a scan goes off. But uh, a good game by both players. Uh, Marine King definitely upstaged his opponent here. And uh, this is uh, Lamonade signing out. Thanks, guys.